Okay, homeschool pop quiz number one. So if you are taking pre-algebra, you might want to follow me along in this video series. So I'm just going to be constructing pop quizzes that uh, obviously are at the pre-algebra level. And we'll start with quiz number one. Uh, and of course, I'll be doing many more quizzes. Uh, but quiz number one is going to be more the basic beginning part of what you would be handling in pre-algebra. Uh, of course, if there's a quiz topic you run into in future uh, videos that you haven't studied, then you can kind of skip that. But uh, these pop quizzes are just designed for you to kind of have fun with and, you know, check your understanding. Okay, but before we get going, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, but uh, over several years I've constructed uh, many online math courses to include homeschool pre-algebra. And uh, the only difference between a regular pre-algebra course and my homeschool version pre-algebra course is my homeschool uh, pre-algebra course comes with all the curriculum package, test, final exams, etc. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and get into our pop quiz. So these problems um, that I'm doing here are designed to be done in about five minutes. And uh, if you want to go ahead and pause the video and do this prom, that would be great. But remember, when you do a, a little pop quiz like this, a couple um, uh, pieces of guidance, if you will, or directions. One, no calculators. Two, no phones. Just a piece of paper and pencil will be fine. And show your work. Okay, you just don't want to do this prom and have an answer. That yeah, that's not you know acceptable for your teacher. They want to know, hey, can you you know do this step by step and justify your results. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and pause the video and give yourself about five minutes, that would be great. All right, I'm going to go ahead and solve the problem. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, and by the way, let me just say this. If you don't understand anything here, just use this as feedback to review what you have to review. And by the way, if you're using other curriculum, uh, that's perfectly fine as well. But if you don't understand something, go back and correct it. Okay, that's sort of the main idea behind these pop quizzes. Okay, so the first thing is well, I have to uh, get the result of 1 half minus 3. Okay, so whatever that's going to be, I'm going to get that result here, and then I'm going to cube it. Okay, so what does that mean to, uh, to cube something? It means take that result and multiply it by itself three times. Okay, and then that will give me my final answer right here. Okay, so if you uh, think you can do that, or if you want to just go ahead and maybe say, oh, okay, now I know what to do and you want to pause the video, then go ahead and uh, do so. All right, so let's get into it. And first things first, let's figure out what 1 half minus 3 is. So we'll do that over here, 1 half minus 3. But 3 is the same thing as 3 over 1. And uh, obviously, I have some fractions here. But I'm going to have to deal with finding the lowest common denominator. Okay, So hopefully, you realize that the lowest common denominator is going to be 2. So that means I, I keep my fraction here, this 1 half the same. And then this uh, fraction here, I'm going to have to write as, have to multiply both the, the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator, by 2. So this is the same thing as 6 over 2. Now, I am kind of uh, going through this pretty quickly because this is a pop quiz. I'm not trying to teach you how to uh, add and subtract fractions and everything else along there. So. I'm kind of going through it again pretty fast, much uh, faster than I actually teach this. Uh, so if you're struggling, obviously make note, hey, having a tough time with fractions, etc. Okay, so let's move forward here. So I have 1 half minus 6 over 2, which is the same thing as 3. But when I do this, I'm going to be very careful. This turns out to be negative 5 halves. Okay, negative 5 halves. So I actually specifically made this uh, fraction problem to turn out to be a negative number. So hopefully, all of you out there got this negative 5 has as the result of subtracting these two fractions. Okay, so that's the first step. Okay, the first step is, were you able to subtract these two fractions correctly? If you uh, did, then that's excellent. Okay, all right, so now at this point in time, I need to go ahead and cube this fraction. So that means I'm going to go ahead and take negative 5 halves and I'm going to multiply it by itself 
three times. Okay, so this is what this looks like, like like so. And you could have uh, you could write this stylistically in a little bit different way, but basically you should write it out in some sort of manner, just like so. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take negative five halves and multiply it by itself three times. Now let's uh, consider something. I'm multiplying a what? A negative number times itself three times, okay? So what's the final sign of my answer? Is it going to be positive or negative? Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, and a positive times a negative is going to be negative. So my final answer is going to be negative, okay? So that's the first thing. Without even doing the math, you need to realize, okay, it's going to be negative, but negative what? Well, I'm going to have 5 times 5, okay? times 5. So when you're multiplying uh, fractions, let's just do it this way. You multiply all the numerators, so this is going to be 5 times 5 times 5 you know, over all the denominators. So that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so 5 times 5 is 25 times 5, and 2 times 2 is 4 times 2. So 25 times 5 is 125 and 4 times 2 is 8. So let's go ahead and just leave our final answer as negative. Remember this final answer is going to be, uh, its sign is going to be negative. Negative 125 over 8. Okay, and that would be perfectly fine. Now, if you got this right, that's fantastic. One thing you don't want to do in math, okay, unless you're instructed to do so, is to take this and turn it into a mixed number or, or decimal. What you do want to do is to make sure you fully uh, uh, reduce your uh, fractions. So if you have an answer that um, involves fractions, make sure you, you fully simplify it. But this is uh, the answer to this little pop quiz. So again, it's a pop quiz. It's not a test. Okay, uh, but use the feedback appropriately. That's what a quiz is about. You know, hey, and if you understand, um, you know what I explained, uh, but you made an error. Okay, then that's good too. I mean, it's not good that you made the error, but it's good in a sense that you feel like you can do it. So what I would encourage you to do is maybe later, you know, another day or two, go back and redo this quiz and see if you can do it without making that error. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, again, I'm posting content on YouTube. I have tons and tons of videos, hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube. Hopefully, consider subscribing. If you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. How did you do on this problem? Um, how are you doing in math? Do you like homeschooling? You know, what curriculum are you using? Any uh, feedback is appreciated. And lastly, if you want to check out my um, uh, homeschool pre-algebra course, again, I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video. So hopefully you like these little pop quiz uh, uh, videos. And again, this is the first one of this series. And... Um, I put a lot of effort in making math videos. I just do a lot of content all the time. So if you like my teaching style, uh, hopefully you'll you know follow along with me as I uh, construct this uh, pop quiz series. And also, I'm going to be doing other topics as well, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. That's kind of my uh, goal. All right, so with that being said, have a great day.